Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Transformers War for Cybertron. This is Decepticon Rampage, and uh, yeah, we're going to go in this walker thing and to go down to the lower levels. And we're going to use turrets and blow shit up. So yeah, there's not a whole lot to this one, to this uh, segment here. Basically it's just shoot the other walkers. You have unlimited ammo in the turrets here. So, uh, you know, blow up their stuff, and, you know, because if, if, if our walker takes too much damage, it's going to, like, blow up and stuff, so, that's never good. And I think I need to go to the other side now. Oh, so anyway, at the at the end of the last episode, I was talking about the uh, the Deadpool game that, that had been released recently, and uh, you know, I, it, it's gotten a lot of it's gotten a lot of bad press, I, I think. And you know what? A, a lot of those, a lot of the reviews and everything, you know, they do they do have a point. I'm go, I'm going to totally admit that it's not the it's not the greatest game in the world, but you know, it's not a bad game either. And I think a lot of people were just looking at it as, oh, it's you know, they're, they're just it's one of those you know love it you know love to hate it games. Um, I, I I think if you're a fan of Deadpool in general, that uh, you'll probably find something to enjoy in the game. You know, it, it has a lot of the same kind of writing and area that the Deadpool in that is written very similar to the way he is in. A lot of the current comic books and whatnot, and you know, so I mean, granted, if it's a little bit different from the like classic Deadpool per se, um, but you know, it's a it's a enjoyable game. You know, it's it's got you know, sure, it ha it has like toilet humor, but and and that kind of thing. But that's kind of what Deadpool is all about. It's not like it's not like it's anything new. Oh, excuse me again. Um, but anyway, uh, so we're going through this section now. Um, and th this seems to have, like, a definite degree of urgency to it. But you really don't have to have a whole lot of urgency. But uh, anywho, because um, it's not like the, the ground's going to completely fall out from under you. A as you go through this second doorway with this kind of got, like, these energy things around it. Um, that's where you'll find the second, or the fourth symbol at this point. Um, so, shoot that. Um, we are coming up very close to... Oh, son of a bitch! Oh, oh, epic skills right there. Okay. And... Alright, so, see this corner here that kind of... You know, you're kind of going around here. Um, there is also... The third and final laser beak is right up. Wait, it's not there. Maybe it's up. I thought it was here. Ah, get off me. Ah, oh, oh. Freaking hell, get off of me. Anyway, uh, I think he's somewhere right here. Okay, things are fucking shooting me, and I'm trying to I'm trying to find Laserbeak here. It's like, where where's Waldo? Where's Laserbeak? Okay, I know he's right here somewhere. Unfortunately, he's really he's really small, so he's kind of hard to see. Okay, maybe it's past these pillars. Okay. 
Oh, here we go. All right, yeah. So it's 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 around the whole way. You like that big wall that's there. Then you come over here, and it's on this pillar over here. And uh, there's the third laser beak for Beak Breaker. All right, now now we can continue on our way. I I, I hate that there's. I the only thing I the only thing I ever found were like, uh, like descriptions of where it was, and I remember finding it when I was practicing, but holy crap, things are blowing up. I know I said that there's, you know, there's kind of like a, a fake sense of urgency in this spot, but uh, I don't know, I still like going fast. Yeah. All right. Whoa, where'd you teleport from? Okay, and then right underneath this last bridge, uh, you'll, it's like right before the, the uh, checkpoint there. And then there's our fifth one and final for this chapter. Okay, whew, man. Oh, it's a jump over him. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so, and, and uh, if you watch the last episode, you'll notice that this is this uh, seems very, very similar to the the previous one where we had to fight Starscream. I wonder what that what that could mean. Not that we're gonna fight Starscream again, but uh, okay, give me some of that stuff. So, uh, come in. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm all loaded up. Got some thermal rocket, uh, some thermal rockets, and which is gonna come in handy for one particular spot. And we got uh, neutron assault rifle. Got some regular grenades. I think we're loaded up and good to go. So we come in here and what is this? Optimus, look! It's Zeta Prime. Oh, hey, it's Zeta. He isn't dead. Who do they have him hooked up to? Oh, it's Soundwave! In a different configuration than his truck mode. In his uh, classic uh, boombox looking... Uh, well, a Cybertronian boombox. No, not sentries! I hate sentries! I think I mentioned this earlier in the episode. Or maybe that was the last episode. Yeah, I think it was the last episode. No, I think maybe it was the first episode. It was... Let's put it this way, it was in this chapter at some point. So at this point, you just you shoot the, the sentry turrets. And once you take out those... Hey, it's Frenzy! See? Frenzy is red! Focus your fire on the Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there you are. Now, fire it some way. All right. Yeah. So that that's that's basically the gist of of what we're doing in this section here. You'll, uh, once you damage whichever one of Soundwave minions is currently out, then uh, he'll actually have to come out and uh, and revive what the minion. So he'll come out from behind the shield because you know, despite how uh, uh, you know, like soulless and uncaring Soundwave is, he actually does care for his minions, at least to a point. Oh hey, now we got Rumble coming out. Get ready to crumble before rumble. With his, <clears throat> yeah, his trademark. Uh... Oh yeah, there, there's a classic line. Oh, I don't have. I keep trying to use my ability, and I apparently don't have it. Now's our chance. Get him. But uh, anywho, so yeah, like I said, I I kind of I kind of like this fight. You know, it, it's a little bit something a little bit different. Ow! 
Oh, I need me some energy. No, I need me some energon, not just energy. I meant energon. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Oh yay, energon. Okay, now, now this is the reason why I picked up the thermo rocket launcher because he deploys laser beak, who, who we've already shot several times, but um, it doesn't count for this. But uh, when, once we get that, then we it can actually get a lock on on him. He's off the platform. Now's our chance. Yeah, spin of doom. Haha. <laughs> Wait, how do you get back up there? He's gone. Hold on, Seda. We'll get you out of there. <sighs> A noble sentiment, Optimus. But I'm afraid I'm dead already. Oh, poor Zeta Prime. Zeta. Let's bring him. Okay, so that was the end of the episode here. Uh, we're gonna have our uh, High Council. I return with a the passing of the torch here. Till all are one. Times Till all are desperate. One. The Autobots crave your guidance. The Council exists only to choose the Primes. It is the Primes' directive to lead and protect. There are no Primes. Even now, you still reject your calling? For too long have we watched the other Primes fall to their pride and greed. But you, Optimus, your courage and wisdom have transformed the lives around you. Megatron has infected the very core of our world. You must journey to the core and remove this blight. Failure would doom us all. I will accept the burden with all that I am. Rise, Optimus Prime, for you are the leader of the Autobots. And now, you officially, Optimus is Optimus Prime time. now. So, I can st I can stop screwing it up in every previous time I've referred to Optimus as Optimus Prime when he wasn't technically a Prime yet. But uh, anyway, hey, that was uh, Chapter Seven of. Transformers War for Cybertron. Uh, anywho, I mean, it's, it's a pretty good chapter. You know, it's got a kind of an interesting thing where you, you know, have to go mo more or less weaponless for a chunk of it. So, next time we are going to go down into the core, and yeah, basically that outlined what we're going to be doing for the majority of the rest of the game is removing the blight of the Dark Energon infection within the core of Cybertron. So, anywho, this has been Decepticon Rampage. Oh, but before I, I sign off here, uh, let's go into Chapter 8 real quick and see who we're going to get to play as next time. So, again, we have Optimus Prime as a choice. Um, but I, I think I want to pass on him it, since I did play as him in the first chapter. Um, but we also have Ironhide and Warpath. Now, I'm going to lead towards Warpath because Warpath is one of is uh, one of my favorite Autobot characters. And I mean, not that not, not the Ironhide school, but I believe he's going to be available in one of the later chapters as well. This is the only one where Warpath is available. So I, I usually like to try to play as this as characters that you only get one shot to play as. Um, plus, like I said, Warpath's cool. But uh. You know, but I, w I will take uh, suggestions, you know, if anybody else wants to see a different character played as, I'm willing to do that. Um, and what, there's... Oh, uh, and I will probably put up a, a short video. I'm probably going to go back and... Uh, in the previous chapter, I had mentioned, like, the an alternate way how to get the um, Paging Ratchet achievement to get the last Autobot, so uh, I, I did have somebody post uh, that they wanted to see that, so I, I will go ahead and uh, try to try to do that again and record that and put it, put up that short video on kind of showing that. Uh, but uh, anywho, so I think that's going to be everything at this point. So, again, this has been Decepticon Rampage for Let's Play 
Transformers War for Cybertron, and thanks for watching, and we will catch you uh, next time for Chapter 8.